Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new Line 6 Helix tutorial for you, and this is how to dial in the John Mayer Qtron Adrenaline 3 type of tone that he's famously used on songs like I Don't Trust Myself With Loving You and the Rosie uh, solos and also the Wildfire solo. So we're gonna dive into that in just a sec, but if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my content and also leave a comment below if there's any other type of content you wanna see from either the Fractal world or the Helix world and um, I'll try to do my best to uh, produce some of that content for you. So today uh, we're going to use my Mike Lowell SX Custom and these have the Lindy Fralin uh, Vintage Hots and we're gonna stick with those. This is a uh, Lindy Fralin Blues Special on the bridge but we're gonna stick with uh, primarily the neck uh, pickup position. We might switch to the four position as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at HX Edit and we're going to take you through my signal chain and everything. So here we are. This is the full signal chain and if you saw a few weeks ago I posted a video of me playing uh, a little snippet from I Don't Trust Myself and the Rosie solo and this is the preset that I used. So I want to show you how I dialed that in. Um, starting with the first block, it's just a volume block and that's uh, just for this video. I want to just be able to ride the volume to uh, cut the signal off. Um, we do have a boost. So here's the kinky boost. Um, it was not engaged for this purpose, but uh, next one we got the Minotaur, the Klon. Uh, here are my settings for that. Set pretty low. I would probably call this like John Mayer type of settings, um, obviously. Um, he runs the gain um, right around like maybe 12, not 12 o'clock, uh, like nine or 10 o'clock-ish. So that's kind of where I would have it uh, just for light breakup. Um, if you want to add a tube screamer in there for some more solo type of tones, you can, or more sustain. Uh, let's go ahead and skip the filter block for a second. Here are my, here's my amp. I'm using the litigator uh, just to kind of get that more dumbly feel. Um, I've noticed that this amp in particular, it's pretty bright, so I dialed the treble back quite a bit. And then I like to add some sag to it just to give it uh, a little bit more feel, but not much done to the stock uh, preset. Cabs, here's the first one. Uh, we are running the 1x12 US Deluxe with the 160 ribbon mic. Uh, just did some low cuts and some high cuts and I like to add a lot of early reflection to get that more room-like feel. Second cab is the 2x12. Uh, I believe this is like the twin, I think, on, I, I think. Um, with the 121 ribbon, again, some uh, low cuts and some high cuts and early reflections thrown in. And we'll mess with those um, in a little bit. Uh, something I like to do in my fractal presets is add some room ambience. So we have a dynamic room uh, in stereo. Here are the settings for that. And you can go ahead and probably add the trails on. It's not super important right now. And then my main reverb is the dynamic hall. And I like the hall over the um, the spring just because I know that John likes to use the Bricasti uh, hall reverb quite a bit. So I like to use the hall um, set to a little over two seconds uh, in decay. But here are the settings for that. Mix is um, right around 34%. So let's go ahead and go clean first and then we will add the drive and then I'm going to dive into the filter block, the most important part. So let's go ahead and disengage this guy and this guy as well. And let's just go ahead and hear the clean signal. We'll stay on the neck pickup and we'll, we'll switch to the four position as well. Thank you. 
So there's the clean tone. Um, let's go ahead and add the Minotaur. Let's go to the neck. Without it. So that's kind of the bass tone. Now let's go to the filter block. So this is the Tron up. So this is obviously based on the Qtron. So here are the settings for that. Did a low pass, um, low range. And I found that kind of the sweet spot, I guess it depends on what tone you're going for. I consider that I don't trust myself tone uh, much different than like the more recent uh, search for everything type of Qtron tones. I think there is a little bit more high-end content, maybe a little bit more bloom. So uh, if you want the I don't trust myself type of tone, I suggest bringing the Q down a little bit to like nine, um, maybe even the frequency down to like 25 or so. Um, I found that with the whole signal chain, it works best with the level down. Um, I think it gets a little bit too spiky and also there's no um, attack or release function in here. There is in the fractal, which helps with um, when you are hitting the strings, it kind of gives it a little bit more bloom. That's my only gripe with, uh, with this. You don't get that attack. But let's go ahead and play a little bit with the settings we have right now, neck pickup, and we have the Minotaur on right now. So that's kind of that wild, fiery, uh, rosy type of tone. So rosy, um, for rosy, you could even add the tube screamer, but. Um, I've also found that using the middle pickup works a lot better. And let's kind of dial in uh, I don't trust myself type of tone. Um, it almost sounds like a saxophone, so to me at least. So let's go ahead and dial back the cue a little bit. Let's start at 10 and then bring the frequency down a little bit. It's a little bit more um, dark in my opinion. So. Uh, personally, I like it where I had it before, so like 30 for the frequency, and then where did we have it? About 15-ish, I think that's where it was.
Now, when you're playing with this type of effect, I think uh, something that's very important is your dynamics with your right hand. Uh, it reacts uh, to your right hand a lot. So when you dig in, the cue really opens up and it starts quacking. Um, but for songs like I Don't Trust Myself, Rosie, all that stuff, if you play lightly, um, you will get that kind of uh, subtle delay in the attack, if that makes sense. So take, for example, if I use just my fingers and I play lightly, let's go ahead and play. Or up here. So vary your, your picking dynamics, uh, even using a pick versus your uh, fingers is gonna help a lot. So there you go. Hope that helps dial it in yourself. Let me know how it goes for you. Um, everyone's monitoring systems are different. Everyone's guitar pickups are different, playing styles. So this is what's worked for me. So I uh, hope it works for you as well. Let me know in the comments below and we'll see you next time. Bye.